there were a lot of things that I wish I had known uh, at the time uh, directly related to gay stuff. Um, so at the time that I became Catholic, I really thought of kind of what are you supposed to do as a gay Christian? Uh, one, don't date girls. To think really hard about like the theology of the church and understand it. And like, I'm not, not super great at the whole like chastity area of life and also not super great at the theology area. <laughs> so this was like, un- <laughs> this was not great. <laughs> um, and ultimately, like, I feel like a lot of stuff has changed for me in my relationship to the church and to my sexuality mm-hmm. since that time. And maybe we'll get into some of that. Mm-hmm. But one of the deepest things was that changed pretty early was that I started asking the question instead of how can I give and receive love? Mm. Uh, and especially how can I give and receive love in a way that speaks to me in some way as a lesbian mm-hmm. uh, to my mm. desires to love and serve women. Uh, mm-hmm. And I came up with like answers that were to some extent interesting and cool and to some extent kind of wacky. Uh, but I think shifting to that question was probably yeah. pretty transformative to me and not one that anyone around me knew right. to encourage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 